If you played the original on the Wii, this is still the same game you've come to know and love. It's definitely worth a buy for any Fatal Frame fan or lover of horror, especially if you didn't get a chance to play the original when it first released. Fatal Frame 4 Mask of the Lunar Eclipse, in my opinion, is the best Fatal Frame in the series, and it's nice to see it finally get a chance to shine in a wider market. It has wonderful pacing, likable characters, and a story that's right up there with Fatal Frame 2, or surpasses depending on your flavor. That being said, it's not all sunshine with the remaster. There are quite a few arbitrary downgrades that happened with this release that I still can't wrap my head around. They are minor in the grand scheme of things, but they do also sadly greatly affect the immersion of the game. These are particularly noticeable if you played the Wii version of the game, where these issues or design choices were not present. Let's dive in. Cons. Physics. The physics in this version took a major hit, which is disappointing for a remaster. Things like hair, clothing, the girls' accessories, etc. are practically non-existent in this version of the game. In the original on the Wii, the physics were in full swing, adding to the game's atmosphere, realism, and immersion. Walking through the eerie environments, opening doors, running, getting attacked, and practically everything you can think of would trigger the physics in the game. Causing the protagonist's hair sway, clothing to move from the momentum, Ruka's necklace to jiggle and so forth. None of these chef-kiss moments exist on PC outside of cutscenes, where it's still not as strong as it was on Wii. You'll spend 90% of your time, with characters running around with hair as stiff as a board, clothing reacting in bizarre ways, and Ruka's necklace glued to her back, which is incredibly awkward. Immersion is everything in a horror title, so to see these features removed in the remaster is incredibly disappointing. Why there was no effort to ensure these made it into the new edition is beyond me. While the lack of these physics don't affect the gameplay, it went a long way in making the game feel alive, and it's sad newer players will not get to experience what they added to the overall experience. In the remaster, they cranked the brightness of this game and made everything glow bright shades of blue. I feel like this was a design choice to imitate being in the moonlight, but it's just one I can't get behind. The hallways are so well lit now, that the entire aspect of having the flashlight is kind of a moot point. It takes away a lot of the game's growing tension and overall dread when everything is easily on display. And sadly, this also applies to the ghosts slash enemies in the game. It, it may seem odd to hear this complaint, but enemies are also so brightly lit that you can see every detail, and just like the environments they have that ghostly blue glow, but with the updated graphics and light settings permanently set to 1000, it completely destroys the otherworldly apparition appearance and makes them stand out, taking away from the experience. While fighting a lot of the enemies, I found myself thinking they looked out of place and weren't scary. Textures This sadly is probably the biggest offender of this remaster. The textures for this game appear to just be one-for-one -one upscaled textures of the original Wii version, which ultimate makes the 2D textures in this game absolutely hideous. Simply walking up to a wall or door makes the game look like a pixelated mess. It's clear that no effort was made to retouch the textures, which is disappointing, considering how much care went into the newer game models. Unfortunately, the textures are so bad in a lot of circumstances that you cannot even make out what some items are supposed to be. I spent a lot of time in the original, exploring the environments, looking at photographs sitting on bookshelves, etc., to get engrossed in the atmosphere, environment, and story the game was telling. Sadly, in this edition the textures were handled so poorly that you can no longer make out what what items like pictures, paintings, small objects, etc. are supposed to be. This is the part I find most unacceptable. Pros. Everything else honestly. It's still a solid game and my personal favorite in the series. I strongly recommend playing Fatal Frame 4, especially if you didn't play it on the Wii during its original launch, but objectively I can also admit they made some weird shortcuts that are painfully obvious which stand out more if you played the original.